what's up? I'm Jake, surf instructor here in Ocean Beach, California, and I'm here to talk to you guys today about Hayden Shape's new board, the Holy Grail. Now this board here is 6.1 feet tall. It's uh, 20 and a half inches wide and two and three quarters inches thick, giving it just under 35 liters of volume. So with that amount of volume, Hidden Chase promises all its riders that you can get on most waves with this board. Now, with that amount of volume, you should have no problem in most size waves getting to about two feet. It's going to be a little trickier. This board is for uh, intermediate and advanced riders, so really good for an intermediate. Once you get on it, you'll be able to push uh, your game a lot more. And for the advanced riders as well, there's a lot of technical things about this board, which I'll go into. Uh, my first impression of this board. Love it, I really like the design on it. I love this collar all the way around the rails. Uh, this strip right down the middle, it's pretty cool, looks very professional. Uh, quite a minimal design as well, the Holy Grail right there. So you know, you can feel free to sticker it up or if you wanna just keep it classic like I have right here, it's really good too. spinning out right at the top so that's gonna give it you know a very lazy cruisy feel rounded rail all the way here now this is what makes the board so versatile and so unique is when you get to here right there is where the rail just starts to edge out it starts getting sharper it turns into a 90 degree sharp edge all the way around the side and back all the way here now that basically means the second you start putting your back foot on here you're gonna get a lot of control, a lot of response. This board is gonna, you'll be able to whip this thing around, no problem. And it gets really thin down at the bottom here as well. And as you can see, it's kind of squared off, but it's not too sharp either. So you're gonna have a lot of response with that. And if you look on the back as well, spots for five fins. So it's a very versatile. You can go for the quad fin, tri fin, keep it old school. So I'm just going to keep with these three fins for now. Let's go try it out. Okay, hey, so just tried out the uh, Hayden Shapes new Holy Grail out there thing rides so nice. They do stick to what they say as you can catch waves very easily on it. That buoyancy almost feels like I'm riding a longboard. But also, as soon as I put my weight on that back foot, this thing just starts turning around. It's really interesting going along the wave on the rails. That rounded feel, it's so smooth. You just cruise down so nicely as if you're riding a longboard, then as soon as you want to turn and you put that weight back, it's responsive. It turns around so quickly, so fluently. It really lives up to its name. Uh, I guess the uh, only bad thing I would say is that it's so much of an all-rounder that you would struggle if you really wanted to focus on one thing compared to a uh, performance board or a longboard. But all in all, I would say, a hell of a board and it's definitely worth what it costs. I'd really like to try it next time maybe with five fins or four and see how she goes then but a very good board all in all. <laughs> 